Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. As we all know, the United States has long begun to revise relevant regulations to prohibit domestic companies from developing in the wafer field. Now it seems that no matter what the United States does, it will not help. China's wafer market will be completely reversed. From 2019, the United States first used the Wassenaar Agreement to restrict ASML's latest EUV lithography machine, so that orders from domestic companies have been delayed. Since Huawei has gained technological advantages in 5G and other fields, the United States has imposed strict controls on American companies, such as Qualcomm, Google, NVIDIA, and TSMC, which uses American technology, have all been subject to strict controls. The United States requested a complete cessation of production, but ASML refused and insisted on selling these technologies to China. According to reports, the United States has restricted EUV lithography machines through the Wassenaar Agreement and cannot export products to its domestic market without authorization. Exit. In addition, the United States has also shipped goods to Japan and the Netherlands through the Tripartite Agreement, such as advanced lithography and advanced lithography products. The Japanese side said that it will start next spring, and the Japanese side will also start next summer. To fully block it. However, ASML did not stop there. They clarified on their official website that only 2000i and 2050i deep ultraviolet lithography machines are restricted, while 1980i deep ultraviolet lithography machines can still continue to produce. After ASML issued a statement on its official website, Weninka also came to China in person to clarify EUV lithography technology. Mr. Wenink made it very clear that if ASML had already shipped EUV lithography machines to China because of the Wassenaar Agreement, China would be the largest customer of EUV lithography equipment in the world. In addition, the chairman of ASML also said that once approved, they will be the first to launch the extreme ultraviolet lithography machine, and the 2000i to 2050i deep ultraviolet lithography machine can be launched temporarily, because the relevant regulations will take a certain amount of time before they can be officially implemented. The most important thing is that this 1980Di series deep ultraviolet lithography machine can reduce the process to 7 nanometers through multiple exposures, so as to achieve mass production of 7 nanometers. In other words, all DUV lithography machines produced by ASML can be applied to the 7 nanometers process, meeting the needs of the domestic chip market. First of all, domestic wafer manufacturing companies have focused their production on the mature process, especially SMIC, which has expanded the mature process four times, and the annual output is estimated to exceed 700,000 pieces. ASML has been producing 1980Di series of deep ultraviolet lithography machines to meet the development needs of 28 nanometers and other advanced process technologies. In addition, the 14 nanometers process has begun mass production and SMIC, which has an N plus one process, has also started small scale trial production. The deep ultraviolet lithography machine can already meet this requirement. Secondly, high-end manufacturing technologies such as 7 nanometers 
and 5 nanometers are applied to a small number of electronic products, such as mobile phones and computers. Most electronic products use mature manufacturing technologies, such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers, and the demand for such products in the world has already reached more than 70%. As the United States continues to revise chip regulations, China intends to transfer more chips to China, and more than 70% of the chips are self-developed. Therefore, 28 nanometers and other advanced process technologies will become China's future development direction. Moreover, Huawei has announced that before 2023, it has conducted preliminary research on EDA design software for the 14 nanometers process. The reason why ASML insists on exporting its products to China is also because of the sales volume in China, which is one of the three largest ASML countries, and they are unwilling to give up this huge market share. In addition, China's lithography technology is developing rapidly. 90 nanometer lithography technology has made a major breakthrough, and 28 nanometer Shanghai Microelectronics has also obtained major technical certification. At the same time, China has also made new progress in extreme ultraviolet light source technology. In other words, if ASML fails to get these products, it will speed up the progress of domestic manufacturers. At that time, ASML will lose more, and even the entire domestic market will be completely lost. Moreover, ASML does not want to be restricted. The reason why they expand their business in China is mainly to reduce their dependence on American technology and allow them to produce independently. SMIC has been continuously expanding its production technology. By the end of this year, it will produce more than 700,000 8-inch chips of 8-inch chips. It is conceivable how much demand there is for lithography equipment in the Chinese market. Of course, there is another important reason why ASML is so anxious, that is, China has made great progress in science and technology. There have been breakthroughs in 90 nanometer lithography technology, which can continuously use 22 mm lasers, and Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers precision photolithography has passed the technical test. This means that if ASML does not increase production, it will lose more in the Chinese market. Moreover, ASML's lithography technology is almost running out, and the Netherlands has also invested a lot of money to develop new technologies similar to optical chips. In this regard, China still has an absolute advantage. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.